I'm Jim Park with Ultimate Test Drive and the Focus On series. We're out near Brigham, Utah today with this new Volvo Adoptive Loading System. It's basically a 6x2 tractor, but the forward axle on the tandem will lift up when the truck's empty. It saves you fuel, saves you tires, and uh, on slippery winter roads, it actually improves the traction on the driving axle. So let's climb in there, hook up, and see what we can make this do. This Volvo adaptive load concept is a pretty interesting one. It's basically a 6x2 tractor that is tandem axles with one driving, but it's the back axle that drives. The purpose behind the concept is really a, it's a triple whammy of uh, safety, productivity, and fuel efficiency. From a fuel efficiency point of view, the less rubber you have on the road, the more efficient you are, less rolling resistance. So by lifting up that axle when it's not needed, you uh, dispense with the drag and the rolling resistance caused by those tires. Uh, it also saves the tires, by the way, saves some tire wear on that uh, liftable axle. When we're talking productivity, there's actually two ways this system can help. One, it speeds up the drop and hook process by lifting the trailer a little bit off the ground, making it easier for the driver to dolly up or down. It also makes it easier to get underneath a trailer that's been dropped maybe a little bit low. You can drop the suspension, go underneath, pick it right up, and then just uh, dolly up once the trailer is already uh, on the tractor. And as for safety, when you have fewer wheels on the road, you have more weight on those wheels and you have better traction. Here's Gene Bryce, the co-owner of Idaho-based Idaho Milk Transport, with a first-hand account of just how much of a difference it really makes. You know, an empty truck right now puts on the truck tandem drivers, puts 10,000 pounds down in our op operation. And that's 2,500 pounds of tire on the ground for that wide base tire. By lifting that axle, we've went back, now we're putting 5,000 pounds of tire on that truck. The safety factor is just goes up like crazy. You wonder why trucks can't stop when they're empty. They've got too much surface and not enough weight down to make the stop. And there's another benefit to that liftable forward axle, a big improvement in tire wear. Empty miles beat up tires when you have no weight on that tire going down the road. By lifting that axle, you're putting 3,500 pounds back on that tire, and the, the tire life just immediately goes up. Maintenance costs go down. There's a number of ways this system will save you fuel as well. You've only got one drive axle, so what we're missing on the front axle is all that gearing crown and pinion gears, the drive shafts, all that stuff that goes around and around. That's all just pure parasitic drag. So if you don't need it, dispense with it, and you eliminate some of the drag on the drive line, which of course saves fuel. Uh, also, you're toting less weight around because you've got, uh, you don't have that big action carrier, the big differential housing, and of course all the gears themselves inside. There's about a 300 pound savings there. Uh, also, it contributes to the overall light weighting process if you're uh, keen on ditching as much weight as possible. Many drivers are wary of 6x2s out of concerns about traction, but adaptive loading may put many of those worries to rest. Volvo's adaptive loading option uses a function called biased axle loading to keep a higher portion of the tandem axle weight on the driving axle for better traction. For example, if the bogey was loaded to 28,000 pounds, then you might have 16,000 pounds on the rear driving axle, but just 12,000 pounds on the front pusher axle. The proportion of the load borne by each axle varies with the weight on the tandem, but the drive axle always carries a greater share of the load. When fully loaded to 34,000 pounds, the weights are nearly equal, with just a slight bias in favor of the driving axle. There's also a switch in the cab so the driver can equalize the weight if the need arises. The purpose of loading the driving axle heavier than the pusher axle, of course, is to increase the traction. By all accounts, it works. But don't take it from me, I've never driven one in the snow. Here's Gene Bryce describing his driver's reactions to the system. My drivers did not re take off on this project, i say very well enthused, would be likely. They were absolutely without understanding it, did not like the concept of losing their twin screw drive versus a single drive and a lift axle. But once I got the drivers in them, once they drove these trucks, they, they, you cannot find a negative aspect about it. 
they drive so much better empty. They, the traction is so much better, safety standpoint. In the winter time, especially if you're in the north and driving snow, after you've drove one of these trucks, you will not want to climb back in a twin screw truck. You will want nothing to do with it. The traction is so much better. And what about the learning curve for drivers? Is there a lot of training required? No, with the, the trucks we have now, we take a new driver in, and I can use more layman's terms and say, okay, this is your new truck. You leave it in what we call the normal position. You won't ever mess with it. If you ever get into a mud-snow situation where you need enhanced traction, yard, drifts, parking lot, you just put the switch to enhanced traction, it immediately compensates puts up to 20,000 pounds on the drive axle and you will not be stuck and you will not slip. And then as soon as, if you forget to put the switch out, it kicks itself out automatically as soon as you reach, I think it's 40, 45 mile an hour and you're back to normal driving the rest of the time. Uh, really user friendly, ha have had no issues as far as explaining driving. There's not much to explain, it takes care of itself. Adaptive loading is a truly unique system, and Volvo is the only truck maker currently offering a 6x2 with a liftable forward axle. It's a weight saver, a tire saver, and a fuel saver. There's another video in this series. It's about Volvo's adaptive gearing feature. It'll save you a ton of fuel, too. For Heavy Duty Trucking and Today's Trucking, I'm Equipment Editor Jim Park, not too far from Brigham, Utah, with Volvo's newest 6x2.